Hey guys, it's Malia. This will be a grounding sequence specifically for panic attacks and depersonalization. So when we're feeling anxious or depersonalized, we're very up in our heads and not very grounded in our bodies. So this sequence will help us come back into our bodies and bring us back to feeling our, the sensations in our bodies. So we'll begin today in a child's pose. Coming onto your knees, you can have the knees the width of your mat or together. Press your hips back towards your heels. You can reach your arms forward, resting your head on the floor, or maybe a block or a pillow underneath your forehead. Begin to reach your tailbone back and the crown of your head forward so your spine is nice and long. Finding your breath in and out. Already beginning to ground ourselves in the here and now. Feeling your hands on the floor, your lower legs. Slowing down and coming into your body. And your next inhale, come forward onto your hands and your knees, bringing your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders, your tabletop. As you inhale, drop your belly, reach the crown of the head towards the sky. And as you exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, look towards your navel. Inhale, arch the spine, reach the crown of the head up. Exhale, round, tuck the chin. Good, one more like this. Inhale, reach your heart forward. And then as you exhale, round the spine. Beautiful. Inhale back to a neutral spine, squeezing your belly in and up. And extend your right leg back so you can keep your toes tucked underneath you on the floor. Or maybe you start to rise your right leg in line with your right hip. Again, squeezing in through the belly. If you want to add on here, walk your left fingertips forward towards the top of your mat. You can keep them on your mat or option to lift your left arm up in line with your left ear. Working on some stability and balance. Squeezing in through the core, reach out through the left hand, out through the right heel, breathe, take an inhale. Same as you exhale, bring your left elbow towards your right knee. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in using that core. Inhale, extend everything back out. And exhale, drop your left hand. Drop your right knee. Take a breath here in and out. Beautiful. Let's find the other side. Begin to extend your left toes back. You can keep them tucked on the floor. Or maybe you decide to squeeze in through the core. Rise your left leg in line with your left hip. You can stay with the right hand on the floor. Maybe you walk those fingertips forward out in front of you. Fingertips stay down or maybe lift that right arm in line with your right ear. Reaching out in opposite directions. Use your breath. Find that stability. Option to inhale. Exhale, squeeze knee and elbow together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Good. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, drop right hand, drop left knee. We're going to come back into our child's pose. So press the hips back towards the heels, lengthen out. Settle in here for a breath or two. You can roll out those wrists if you need to. Alrighty, see if you can start to feel that connection with the earth in your body. Inhale, come back onto your hands and your knees. And this time as you exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog, so your inverted V shape. Maybe walking out the legs by bending one knee and the other, just adjusting your body. We've got our feet planted, our hands planted, lots of connection to the earth. Good. 
Good. Begin to bend both knees. Look in between your hands. Start to walk your feet towards the backs of your hands. Come into a forward fold. A bend in the knees so you can release your head and your neck down. Breathing here along your spine. Inhale, we're going to lift up halfway. Hands come to shins, maybe thighs. Number seven with the body. Exhale, fold back. Inhale, peel up halfway. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. One last time like this. Inhale, peel up halfway. Lengthen. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Come all the way to stand. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Take a breath here in and a breath out. Good. Feet are about hip width distance apart here. So really ground down through those feet. As you inhale, arms by your sides. Bend the knees slightly. Bring the arms up and overhead. Sitting back into a mini chair. Exhale, stand out of it. Inhale, sit back a little bit more in your chair. Exhale to stand out. Good, our progressive chair here. Inhale, sit maybe a little bit lower, warming up those legs. Exhale to stand. Inhale, sitting lower. And this time we're going to hold, uh, no, exhale to stand. Good, one more time here. Inhale, sit back. Now we're going to hold. So sit back into your heels, weight is back. Core squeezing in, shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed. We're firing up those legs. Feel your connection. You are here in your body. Good. Exhale, stand out of it. Bring hands to heart. Nice. Bring your arms by your sides. Let's take our weight into the right foot. Step your left foot back. And you're going to place your heel down so that your left toes face the top left corner of your mat. So it's about 45 degree angle here. Hands to your hips. Bend into your right knee so that it stacks over your ankle or behind. Warrior one pose. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Beautiful. Exhale to stay. Inhale, arms by your side. Straighten your right leg. Exhale, re-bend, warrior one. We'll move through this flow. Inhale, feel those legs straighten. Exhale, re-bend. Good. Inhale, to straighten. Exhale, to bend. Make sure you're over the ankle and not past it. Inhale, straighten. And exhale. Beautiful. One more time here. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, warrior one. We're going to hold for three breaths. So really feel those feet, feel your connection, squeezing the core in. Make sure you're breathing. I am grounded. I am safe. Bring the arms by the side. Step your left foot forward to meet your right. Take a breath here. Good. Let's try the other side. So take your weight to your left foot. Step your right foot back. Plant the heel down. The toes slightly turned out. Bending into your left knee with the hands on the hips. Bring that knee over the ankle or behind warrior one pose. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead and exhale, settle in. Inhale, start to straighten the left leg. Exhale to bend. Inhale, arms by your sides, straighten. Exhale, to bend. Good. Three more here. Use your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Find that focus. Flowing with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms by the sides. And exhale, bend. We'll stay here. Three deep breaths. I am grounded. I am here. I am in my body. I am safe. I am loved. Beautiful. Start to step your right foot up to meet your left at the top of your mat. And 
come back to your breath. And then take your weight to your right foot. Step your left foot back about the length of a leg, turning your left toes out to the left, the right toes forward, setting up for warrior two. Bend into your right knee so it stacks over your right ankle or behind. Reach the arms out towards the sides, looking over your right middle finger, settle in. As you inhale, begin to straighten the right leg, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, arms float back down, bend into your right knee. Inhale, arms reach up, legs straighten. Exhale, re-bend, track the knee out towards your pinky toe. Good. Inhale, maybe the gaze rises up as well. Exhale, re-bend. Let's do two more with our breath. Inhale. Exhale. Working those legs. Take an inhale. And an exhale, good. We're gonna settle in for three breaths here. So feel those legs, feel that connection. I am grounded. Good, reach your left fingertips towards your left thigh, reach your right arm up and back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, back warrior two, set the arms down, step your left foot forward to meet the right. Take a breath or two here. And to take our weight to the left foot, step your right foot back. We're coming to warrior two on the other side. So right toes out to the right, left toes forward. Bend into your left knee. Squeeze the core in, reach the arms out. Steady your gaze over those left fingers. Beautiful, inhale, straighten the left leg, arms rise. Exhale, re-bend, arms lower. Inhale, straighten, lift the arms. Exhale, re-bend, good. Take three more with your breath, really making this a nice moving meditation. Focusing the movement and the breath together. Keeping our mind nice and stable our thoughts calming down. Beautiful. This last time we're going to stay. Hold for three breaths. Notice if your thoughts have gotten lost. Come back to your body. Good. Strap those right fingertips down to the right thigh. Reach your left arm up and back. Reverse. Exhale, come back, warrior two, drop the hands, let's step to the top of the mat, into your mountain pose, beautiful. We're going to start to come into a balance pose, you're going to take all of your weight onto your right foot, really ground down some roots through the right foot and turn your left knee out to the left. The toes can be on the floor, they can be below the knee, or maybe you take the foot above the knee. So your choice where you need to be here, hands can come to the heart. Find somewhere to focus your gaze out in front of you, maybe a few feet. When and if you feel stable, maybe start to raise your arms up and overhead, growing your branches. Make sure you're breathing. Let's bring those hands back to the heart, nice and steady. Bring the knee back to center. Set that foot down and maybe shake it out a little bit. Coming over onto the other side, take your weight onto your left foot, ground on those roots. Taking your right toes, they can stay on the floor. Maybe the foot goes below the knee or above the knee. Tree pose, hands to heart. Find your focus. When and if you feel stable, you might begin to explore with the arms rising up and overhead. So the idea is that anything can happen in your upper body, but you're stable and rooted through the lower body. Just like we're always stable and rooted in our bodies in the here and now, 
Bring the hands back to your heart. Bring the knee back to center. Set the foot down. Beautiful. Take an inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Take a big stretch. And as you exhale, dive forward. Come back to your forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, that number seven that we did earlier. Exhale, plant your fingertips down. Coming back onto our knees. And then we'll swing around so that we can find a seat. So just coming down onto a nice seat. I'm going to work with a couple of core poses or boat poses to really start to fire up our core, find some energy in our bodies. So you're going to sit up nice and straight. Walk the feet in a little bit. The knees are out in front. You can keep the toes on the floor. You can lift them so that they're parallel to the floor. You just really want to keep that nice straight spine, squeezing your core in, lifting your chest and your heart up. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Gently start to lower the feet back down about hip width distance apart. You can take your fingertips behind facing your body. You can lift your chest up or maybe you also lift your hips up into a reverse tabletop. So really just kind of staying where your shoulders allow. Come back down onto your seat. We're going to find boat number two. So again, you can walk those feet in. You can keep them on the floor. You can lift them up. Extra challenge this time, maybe you release those hands from your thighs. Reaching forward, lift your heart up, keep your spine straight, good. Lower those feet down, fingertips come back again. You can lift the chest or maybe the hips, reverse tabletop. Lower those hips down, we're gonna do one more boat. You can do it. Lifting up nice and tall, squeeze the core in, walking the feet in. You can lift the feet up. Maybe you release the arms, lift your chest, breathe, smile, feel your connection to your body. Good. Lowering those feet down one last time, fingertips behind, lift your chest, maybe your hips. And exhale, release back down. Nice. Let's take the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. Exhale, send your heart forward like you're trying to get your heart to kiss your toes. A couple of breaths into our hips, the outer hips. Beautiful. Gently start to come back up. Draw the knees together with your hands. We're going to make our way down onto our back. So find your way down gently. Draw the knees into the chest. Maybe you rock a little bit side to side to massage the low back. Maybe some circles with the knees. Beautiful. Place your feet back down on the floor. Heel to your feet so they're about the width of the mat. So they're wider than your hips. Arms can be out in a T or cactus arms on the floor, whatever feels nice for your shoulders. Keep your feet where they are. Begin to send your knees over to the right. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, drop the knees over to the left. So we're doing some windshield wiper motions here. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. And exhale over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Stretching out a little bit of that quad work that we did earlier. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, knees to center. Now walk your feet back underneath your hips, draw the knees in towards the chest. Maybe take some movement, rocking side to side, circles with the knees, release your low back. Come into a happy baby. So you'll send the soles of the feet towards the sky. Grab anywhere along the outsides of your legs, your shins, your ankles, or maybe the outsides of your feet. Drawing the knees in towards those armpits, lengthening your spine down. If you'd like to take some gentle rocking motion side to side, you can. Begin to draw those knees back into the chest. 
Now begin to come into a final relaxation, a Shavasana. So you can extend your legs out long or any other pose that feels comfortable. I had one hand on my heart, one hand on my belly so that I could really focus on my deep belly breathing. So that's an option. If you're currently feeling panicky or depersonalized, you're more than welcome to keep your eyes open. If it feels safe for you, maybe close the eyes. So these next few moments are your time and space to really let go, to integrate. You can feel the whole back of your body on the floor, the back of your head, your shoulders, your hips, your legs, the back of your feet, your heels. I am grounded. I am supported. I am connected to my body and to this world. And it is safe for me to relax. Even if I let go of every muscle, every thought, I'll still be supported. I'll still be safe. Gently start to find some movement, bending your knees, placing your feet on the floor. If your body calls for it, you can roll to one side, maybe make a pillow with your hands. Take a few moments to transition yourself from this class into the rest of your day. And you can take this groundedness with you. You're going to press your hands into the floor, come up to find a seat nice comfortable seat bringing the hands together at the heart so thank you so much for joining me in this practice i hope it's helpful may you be happy healthy safe free and loved namaste So I really hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know if it is with a like or a comment or subscribing so that I know to make more videos. If you'd like to find me on Instagram, it's at yoga for anxiety and my website, maliayoga.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, my friends.